Uh oh, he just trapped his own queen here. You gotta be careful, by the way, if you play French systems, not put a queen on f6 because it's very easy to get your queen trapped if there's like a wooden shield here in the middle of the board uh, and there's a knight and a bishop. This is one of the most classic tricks. Mind you guys, I'm playing on my my uh, the Smurf card account, so we play players who are a little bit lower rated as well, probably in the range of about 500 to 1,000. Now, I'm not going to take his pawn, even though it's free here. I'm going to play e6 to start. Do I have a fridge? I do have um, I do I do have a fridge here. The pool and gym in my own apartment. Yes, you guys, I have a pool and a gym in my own apartment. I mean, what do I look like? Do I look like I'm Hassan or something? Um, let's go Bishop d6 here. So again, Grob is an okay opening, but it's also White should probably play Bishop G2 in castles. Now he's trying to put the bishop on this diagonal. Normally, when you play G4, you want to fion fionketo your bishop to G2, um, but he's probably going to Bishop E2. So I'm just going to keep developing and probably castle. I have a nice compact center here, and it's all pretty good. So you'll never stream from home again. Oh, I never said that. That's castle. Okay, it goes to knight b3. I'll just keep consolidating my center, protect the pawn further. Let's take more of the center here. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, man. Ho hope things get better. Um, how many hours a day does this guy stream? Knock is always on. Well, you know, I'd like to say that um, I try to stream like five to six hours every day, and there are a few reasons for that. First of all, um, I really love streaming. That's the first thing I would say. But secondly, I, I think um, I think I think what I would say is that when you get into a field, it doesn't matter what it is, chess or anything else for that matter. Like I try to look and see what the people, the pioneers or the the leading leading um, figures in the field are doing. And um, I've said it before. Okay, I'm gonna play d4 here. I've said it before. Let's see if you can find knight h4 here. It's a very good move. Um, but what I would say is that I try to look at what the leading figures in the field are doing. And um, so, so what I see is I basically try to see what those figures are doing, then emulate them because again, th there's a reason those people have success. Um, so, so, so for me, like when I see I see people like XQC who are stream I mean XQC of course streams like w way more than five or six hours a day. Um, but when I see people like XQC streaming that much, I try to emulate them. So um, that's that's part of the style. I think you have Ben and Milligan for the three K or six for the five. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go Rick H. I'm gonna play H five here next move. What would you say is a leading figure? Is it XQC? I mean, the XQCs, the as I mean, probably the, the streamers who I who I who I would say are the leading figures are. I mean, of course, there are many like Spanish speakers, but I would say um, XQC, Nick Merckx. Um, those are probably the two big ones. I think Shroud as well, though. I, I know Shroud doesn't quite have the same viewership at the moment, but I would say like XQC, Nick Merckx, and probably Shroud are the top three uh, because I don't follow the other languages. I mean, they're, they're obviously are like, they're probably like five, they're probably are like five Spanish streamers who are just like out of this world insane, um, is my guess. But I, I don't, I don't really follow the Spanish, uh, Sp Spanish speaking. There's some at two. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Obviously there are many, there, there are many others. Um, I can just take a queen H3. Let's just take a queen H3 and actually queen G4 is mate in one here. The traditional way would be queen H3, queen H1, but there's also queen G4, which is just checkmate in one. So this is just checkmate. Yeah, Gallus is insane. Like I said, I mean, okay, so I'm gonna go Bishop G2 here. There, there are many Spanish speaker streamers like Rubius even. I just I don't follow Spanish, that's all. Um let's play H3. Thank you to Woozynator for the prime. I said I finally got a job. Oh, did I misread it? Finally got a job after many idle and depressing months. Oh, sorry, man. I, I was saying I was uh, sorry about the, the pr depression part of it. Okay, let's go D4 here. Um, okay, I'm gonna play knight C3, maybe E4 here. But yeah, so basically, as I was saying, though, I think I think if you no matter what your field is, you have to look up to someone. And actually, I'll give you an example. Like, look at chess. When I, when I was young and growing up, um, and this it doesn't just apply to me. This applies to just about everybody on the face of the earth. Um, but if you, if you look at um, if, if you look at chess, for example, growing up, who who who? If you're a young kid getting into the game, who you're going to be looking up to? So when I was young and I was getting into chess, I was really following Gary Kasparov because like he's the world champion, best player in the world. Like you're really you're really getting um. You're, you're getting really into it uh and so i think it's no different from like chess or if you're if you're uh if it's something like streaming i think it's the same thing i mean mind you like like what i just said probably applies to every single person in the world because like gary is such a hero in chess but but again the point i think applies the point applies 
Okay, so I'm in a castle. I've got quick development here. Uh, if I take with the knight, he can fork me. Let's go for it anyway, though. Let's see if we can find the fork. I have knight of five next to him. It's still quite dangerous. Arena is not rated uh, specifically because I'm playing on on a on a low account um, against other like five six hundred players. Um, so it's it's not rated, and also it's a grob, which is objectively a dubious OE. Oh, yeah. Botez Gambit. So yeah, that's what I would say. um let's just go e4 here yeah that is kind of an f but it, it happens okay now once I, i'm up a queen here so really all i'm trying to do is open up the position now since i have such a big material advantage am i an artist i don't know i, I don't know what i would consider myself i think chess to some degree is art but i also to some degree don't think it's art so it's it's a mix let's see if we can spot the uh spot the tactic here give him the queen the queen back yeah <laughs> Thank you to Archer Dan for the tier one. Thank you so much to the Archer Dan. Do I like growing up? No, growing growing up uh, growing up is not fun, you guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna trade the rooks here. Go rook d7. I right, spot out um, peasant. Okay. Is chess a sport? I don't know what I, I mean. What I would say to you guys is chess is kind of. Um, I think chess is both. It's in between. Like it's 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 obviously a game. And I think to some degree it is a mind sport as well. I I just I don't know. Like it does take a lot of energy playing six hours a day over over for weeks on end for sure. Um, make no mistake about that. But it's not as ex the exertion is not the same as like a traditional sport. So it's like it's kind of weird. It's like it's in this weird in between zone is what I would say. You know, messenger for the five months. Thank you so much to messenger. It's like it's a bit of everything. It's a sport. It's a mind sport. It's a game. Like it's it's kind of a bit of everything. I I don't. I mean it's 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 in between. And of course it's an esport too, obviously. Um. If chess is a sport, then so is poker. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's the thing. Like it's 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 in between. It's very it's a very tough fine line. Sport is when you need to take a shower after practice. Come on, you guys. You you really think that after you really think that after a six hour chess game, we we don't go we don't go to the showers like Mariano Rivera? I mean, come on. Oh no. Another game. Oh no. Oh no. Is every game between two players teams a sport? Um Um I mean, what what I would say is, uh, what what I would say is, um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. It's like it's like Mariano Rivera with the classic line where he says, you know, I, I get the ball, I I pitch, and then I take a shower. Um, um so it's it's that that's kind of that's kind of the thing. It's like um, it that's what it is. It's like if after a six hour chess game, you're pretty tired. And I will say this. After a six-hour chess game, when I when I when I was playing chess all the time in these long tournaments, um, I would almost always need food afterwards because it's that draining. Um, it, it is that draining. Okay, so my my man takes the pawn. Now the point behind the grab is you play for a cheese trick. You play c4. You try to open up the diagonal, but this guy is prepared. Will he play knight d7? This is a very sharp line. What is the meme for this account? Oh, this is a speed run. I think this is supposed to be a speed run account or just a low account we use for view arenas. Because again, one of the issues with view arenas is that a lot of players don't have the opportunity to play against me um, on my regular account. If I'm playing on my 331, 3200, whatever the rating is account, um, the players who are like below about 2200 generally aren't going to get a game against me. You burn 6k calories for classical game of chess. That is Bologna. That is definitely not true. But I'm betting you burn probably... I would bet a really tense game you probably burn about two to three thousand. Six thousand is Bologna, but um, but I think you probably burn like two to three thousand is my guess. Play Queen C two and hit the pawn on C four. 
McDonald's after an eight-hour game. That the only time that you have to eat McDonald's after an eight-hour game of chess is when um is when you're in certain European cities, which unlike America, close at un unrealistic hours well before they should. Take the pawn. Okay, let's go here in castle. I'm just up a rook here, so it's very good. Which is why you guys were talking about Europe very briefly. Barcelona is a great city because in Barcelona, there's stuff that's open till like 3 a.m. Whereas in most uh, most normal European cities, it's like everything is closed by 11 p.m., which is just not acceptable. I've actually misplayed this, by the way. I don't know why I took it upon. I should take it with the bishop. Studies show that you can burn 6,000 calories per day. Yeah, like I said, I'm not disputing it's possible, but I think the number is a little bit, little bit too high. But yeah, that's what I would say. Oh, wait, why did I take the knight? That was a free knight. Go here and take and play rook d1. Uh, a a grot viewer arena and you did not invite me. How's it go? How's it going? Um How's it going, Kevin? Uh, big shout out to Blitzstream. He's in the chat. He is. Uh, he's a, speaking of Europe, he is. Um, he is from France. Um, so big shout out to Kevin Bordy. He's a French streamer. He's been covering a lot of Maxime's recent events. Um, and just built up a great community there. Obviously, he helped Sardosh immensely on Sardosh's path to winning Pog Champs three. So make sure to check out his channel if you haven't already. Going perfect. Having fun here. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you guys, make sure to check out his channel. He streams in French, um, but he's built up a huge community over there. And it's, it's really inspiring, I have to say, when I look at when I look at some of the other languages, very specifically uh, French and um, Portuguese. Th th those two those two languages in particular, they're very they're very big communities that are following chess now. And it's 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 amazing to see. It really is. Hey, to Sefa for the prime. Appreciate it. I need a Blitzstream for the five months. Appreciate it. Let's go Rook D1 here. Will R Richard win Norway? Yeah, you guys. We're going to cover Norway chess a little bit later on. Um, not not right now, but later. Uh, Brazilian Portuguese. Sorry, you guys. Brazilian Portuguese. The, the Brazilian community is astounding, too. Astounding. Good D5 here. Rapport Carlson match yeah, starting in about 21 minutes, you guys. Um, we're gonna do we're gonna do this just this, this very chill view arena until then. Am I in Norway? No, I'm not in Norway, you guys. Uh, I do not intend. My intentions are to travel out of the country one more time this year. I I basically have two trips planned, you guys. So I will be traveling um to Riga, Latvia, of course, assuming that it's possible. Travel is not completely clear cut. Um, but I'll be going to Riga, Latvia for the Grand Swiss tournament, roughly October 25th to November 8th. Um, so. So that's what I would say. Um, secondly, uh, my only other probably travel the rest of this year is I'm probably going to take a week off and go to Hawaii in late November. So that's probably the extent of my uh, of, of my uh, travel this year. I realize he hung a queen too. Okay, he's trying to force me. I, I don't want to take his queen. I mean, it's his queen. He's got to be protective of his queen. I don't want to take his queen. Boy, Capitan. Need a blitz stream again for the five. Appreciate it. Any sub battles planned? Oh yeah. So I wanted to add something. You guys said you're talking about Richard Rapport. I will say this about Richard Rapport. One thing that he has changed immensely, probably. I mean, probably it's been a long time in the, in in the making. Is he's actually started playing very solid chess. He's not playing wild, um, wild creative chess like he wasn't like maybe three four years ago. So he really has changed his style, and it is really good to see. Now, if I take his e6 and queen g5, it's kind of interesting. I guess I'll reject it. I'll just play D4. What does Richard Rapport have to do with a sub battle? <laughs> Nothing to do with a sub battle. Um, sub battles, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe down the road we'll get back to that. Is being a streamer your childhood dream? No, I think one of my childhood dreams though was I always wanted to do something with chess on the internet. Like I grew up playing chess on the internet. It's what I it's what I grew up with. So um, so that is one of my dreams. I think just in general, um, I've always thought I've always wanted chess to be bigger. Not not so much because I think that um that like it's smaller or anything, but I feel like it's it's everywhere in the public consciousness and it's like and then there's like just there's no money in it for lack of a better way of putting it.
Okay, I can play e5, h4. I did not hear about the team battle. I mean, I, honestly, it's been a weird period for me, I have to say. Um, because I was uh, because I was obviously playing in St. Louis in some tournaments. So I've, I've, I've been off of the grind for a little bit. But we're getting back to it more and more for the next month and a half. It's always about money, isn't it? No, I wouldn't say it's about money. But I mean, here's here's what I would say about it. Is when, when I see a lot of players... Let me give you an example. Um, who's a good example of 2600 GM? Okay, I'll give, I'll give you an example. Um... I mean, there are a couple of American ones right off that I can think of, and uh, here, here, here are some examples. I'll, I'll, I'll give Robert Hess, because, Ro well, actually, no, not Robert Hess. I'll give Daniel. Daniel is a much better example. If I look at someone like Daniel Naroditsky, or a, there are a plethora of other 26, 2630s, 2640s that I could name, but if you look at Daniel, he's an incredibly good chess player. Incredibly good. He's better than 99.99% of other, other people who play the game on this planet. Um... It's not, it's not, I mean, that's just how it is. And um, so he's better than 99.9% .9 of people who play on the planet. And, um, but despite, despite being that incredibly good at it, uh, he's still like, he's still making ends meet or, you know, making comfortable living is very, very difficult. And, and I mean, the fact that people devote their entire lives to the game and they get so good at it and there's not a lot of money in the game is just, I mean, it just feels like unsatisfactory. Let me put it that way. Okay, he goes F6, so he's trying to open up. I'm going to take... Uh, I'm assuming I can actually attack here. 15, uh, 4 versus 4, 15 minutes for each team. Interesting. Who's better, Daniel or Jospham? Uh, thank you, Billy, not TV for the 9. I don't know. I think they're both good. I, I, I'd i be hard-pressed, really, to say one is better than the other. Now, I'm going to go Rook G1, Knight G5, Bishop H6, Queen H5. Very quick attacks here. He's got a lot of pieces that are distracted. Very much on the wrong side of the board. All four of these pieces are on the wrong side of the board go here hit the rook I, I mean everything is coming in here it's all it's all bad news yeah if you were at the same level in football versus chess you'd be set for life in football yeah it's like who's a good example I'm trying to think of somebody who's good but like I don't know if this is a fair comparison but like I'll, I'll give an example because I, I know he's like good but he's not like the absolute best and he still makes insane amounts of money but like um I think there's this guy Kadira right am I, am I what's his name Sammy Kadira right if I'm not mistaken. And um, so like he's very good, right? He, he's he's very good. But he's probably not like he's not like a he's not like a top 10, right? Hey, how how good would you guys rank him? I know you can't rank like it, there's no like ranking system where there isn't chess, but how good is he? I would I am betting that he's probably like what like top 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 hundred? He's not top okay, he's not even top 100. Okay, great example, you guys. So Sammy Kadira is not even like he's not even a top 100, top 100 football player. And he's making what, like five million a year or something? Um, what is he making? But let me see, what's his salary? He's making five million euros a year, you guys. He's making five million euros a year, and he's not even top 100. Um Oh, did he retire? Is he retired? Maybe he's retired. But anyway, whatever. Okay, let's go Queen G5 here. Okay, let's keep going. Right, he was very good. He was very good at one point, you guys. But the point that I'm making is, you think about that, relatively speaking. Um, I know football is more popular. I, I get that. Um, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not disputing that, but I'm saying that it feels somehow when people devote their entire lives, they work so hard at something, and, and it's not, you know, I don't know. It's not. It's just, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna play e6, bishop b4, and develop. I guess I'll go queen b6 and hit the pawn on b2 here. Not enough compensation with chess. Yeah, that's mainly what I would say. So, like, to me, that's the thing is when I see that, and, and I mean, Dan is just one example. There are many other examples, obviously. But when I see that, it's just like, somehow it feels wrong to me. Comes down to how much value you provide in this case. That's true. Um, But but let, let me let me, let me me give you guys a pogo, because I'm going to say something that you guys totally are going to pogo me on. I think, I think with my stream here, I, I almost certainly provide you guys more entertainment than... Than someone like Sammy Kadira does probably with football, and I still don't make as much money as he does. Um, just saying, just saying, you guys, just saying. Let's take the pawn here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, monetary monetary compensation should not be the goal to getting good at something. No, of course not. I mean, I, I would say that's never that's never the goal when you start playing something. But I just feel that, like to me, that's one of the things is like in chess, you don't have as you, you just don't have that much money. And I, I would also argue or not argue, but I would also say separately, like I've had conversations with um, 
with with like for example I'll just uh, you know TSM Andy the the owner of TSM I've had conversations with him and like many people that I've spoken to over the years there are a lot of people who who basically say that they look at chess and they never understand why it's not not much bigger than it should be or, or why it's not much bigger than it is right now I know I mean I've, I've had that conversation many many times with people from various business backgrounds um so so that's what I would say okay let's go here I'm just gonna go for a checkmate pretty soon chess will never bring in bring the views football would no no of course not you guys I, I'm obviously making I'm, I'm making somewhat of a joke when I say that but but I do think that what I'm saying is still true though that it feels like chess it, it should be I don't know like it's like what one one thousandth probably compared comparable compared to football whereas I feel like it should probably be like one one hundredth maybe or something that's what I would say it's because of draws um football is draws no you guys no talks between me and T me and 100 thieves um, I'm I'm with TSM but what I what I would say is that um also when I see when I see tweets like that from Nate from Nade um that that kind of does make me realize that chess you know there is a big draw to it there is it's because of the draws yeah except that 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 the football has draws now is there a checkmate here I'm trying to find a checkmate I think I is it check check and then check I guess if here I made him if here check takes oh actually here I can still push still mate has to block and it's still mate classical isn't TV friendly no no I mean ag agreed 100 on that but I'm just giving you guys an example examples um okay I'm not gonna play e5 and troll I'm just gonna go c6 build the center here okay let's see I'm gonna play h5 try to open up the king side here guess I'll go g6 bishop g7 maybe maybe bishop f5 next to maybe just e6 route the knight to f5 this actually oddly enough you guys if this pawn was on f2 I remember in the very old stone age maybe probably circa 2011 computers like Ribka would actually play the grob against me and I would try to get this h5 g5 g6 lock on the king side and then then develop and I might have won a very I might have won a, one of those 200 move end games against Ribka where we got the structure and I was able to get this whole center closed and then put a knight on f5 it's unrated yeah because this is uh because I'm playing I'm playing on a 500 account first of all and then secondly um and then secondly a lot of people don't play the grob it's it's objectively a bad opening so if you get like white in a lot of games you could lose a lot of rating points potentially views on the market I have don't really have big strong views I feel like the market is just drifting lately the market's yeah the market's very drifty I mean I hope the S&P can for a change S&P can actually hold these gains um but yeah I'm, I'm very um I'm very blah on the market is what I would say very blah I, I feel like I don't feel like much is going to happen for the next like couple of weeks go here maybe 97 out of five okay, I'll take I'm gonna put the the reason I don't have five is so good is because it's an outpost although here it's not because he can kick the knight with e4 go here c5 no this guy's playing pretty well he's playing great go here hit the pawn at e5 I can take the pawn or I can take the pawn I guess I'll play an end game I'll take this one isn't Nvidia rocking it? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Nvidia is, is what 227 or something. What's it at? I didn't, I didn't look. I didn't look this morning. The two, 221. So what? It's up 20 bucks. It's up like 10 percent ish from after the post split. It's decent. Uh, I hit the pawn on F3 here. I can go back, go 94. But yeah, I'm pretty blah on the market. I'm, 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 I'm much more into like just collecting dividends lately. He goes to e5 that's that's actually a very very good move um go here I guess this is actually not easy 
not easy at all. Let's take, move the king up. Got some great squares here for his pony. Not easy. Goes rook d1. Go here. Maybe I want to take. I look like I just woke up. I think my hair actually looks like I've been awake for a while, so no. I think we have Frequencia for the three or for the eleven months. Well, first of all, um, you say you're getting back into chess after a long mission in the Navy. Um, I, you know, thank you. Thank you for the service. I think first and foremost, um, websites review for opening repertoires. I think there's some, there's some websites that you can, that you can use. I think, um, uh, I feel like I haven't looked closely at chess tempo, but I think chess tempo is actually pretty good for that. They have a pretty solid opening database in a way that I think is a little bit more explainable than some of the other, some, than some of the other sites. I think that's, that's what I would say. Um, uh that that it's not the only one but that's that's probably what i would say right off the openings explorer on chess.com is completely fine too um but what i would say is that i think it's it's a little bit less uh less less sort of user friendly maybe if that's the way of putting it we had a dude chemist for three months thank you to michael leona for the tier one thing to alice with chess for the five dollars thank you so much have i invested in apple i own it through s p funds I mean, I sold I sold a bunch of puts early this year um, on Apple, and of course, stock did not go to 100. So, um, it's yeah, that's the extent of my Apple play. Go H2. Go here. Take the rook. I think he sacked the knight because he didn't realize the pawn guard of the knight. Take. Go here and checkmate. One to ten. How would I rate Nihal Saren in chess? Um, Nihal, I would say he's 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 improving. He's improving a lot. Um, where whether he gets over the hump to twenty seven hundred remains to be seen. But he is very very talented. I will say this though, I think Nihal blew it yesterday in the online chess Olympiad for India against the United States of America, and um, and I was very disappointed by that. I will I will say that much. I was very disappointed to see Nihal lose that game. It goes to f6, good move. I think I'm going to play knight c3 to hit the pawn on d5. Do I ever trade VIX options? No, I do not. I never do. Uh, because they're mispriced. They're always mispriced. View on vaccine mandates. I have no problem with a vaccine mandate. I don't think it's going to be enforceable, though. I, I don't think it's going to be enforceable. Let's go here. Okay, let's go f5. It's like a King's Indian g5. Um it's like a King's Indian. Actually, this is a great King's Indian here. I'm just gonna attack him immediately. Go here, maybe g5. It's super cool that in chess in every day something is happening. You can't get bored. I mean, I think what I would say, yeah, there are a lot of chess tournaments. Um, uh, there, there's a uh, there, there's a lot of um, there's there are a lot of chess tournaments going on. But also the thing that I think makes chess a lot different from other games that I've said before is that uh, there always is something new to be discovered. It's just like there's there's no um no no difference. Uh, how do I feel about Newsom saying as governor? I don't I don't think he's like some some awesome governor or anything. But the fact is, uh, the economy is booming in California and. Um, and yeah, there might be issues with homelessness and, and fires, and I guess you can be upset with the COVID handling, but objectively, um, he, objectively, he's doing a fine job. But what I would say separately about that is that um, is that California re really needs to get their act together and stop. Um, yeah, I've got to connect five. California needs to stop this recall nonsense. I, I was reading an article about about it, and this this recall costs the state of Cal cost taxpayers two hundred seventy six million dollars. 276 million dollars i mean they really have to they really have to figure it out total nonsense okay let's go check knight of five and mate go bishop g2 here are there any COVID passports used in LA to access restaurants, public places? Well, you guys know, because for, for, for someone like me, I use either DoorDash or Uber Eats. I always order my food. Um, and i I don't really like going out to restaurants. So no, I wouldn't really know. 
Um, but but as far as I know, I mean, every I will say is everywhere that I go out is generally um, everywhere that I've gone out is always like outdoors. So I haven't been places with um, I haven't been places with uh, with like indoor like indoor only. Like whenever I've gone out and had food somewhere, it's always been it's always been outside. It's never been it's never been it's never been inside. What am I drinking? I'm drinking G Fuel, you guys, uh, and I can actually prove it to the start of the stream. Um, at the start of the stream, I I, I fueled up. I I, I poured some some uh, I poured poured some powder in with the water, mixed it. Uh, you can get 30% off if you use code Hikaru on the G Fuel website. Um, potentially up to 30 percent i should say it's not guaranteed 30 percent, but you can get 30 percent off on select flavors make sure to fuel up before every stream before you go to work whatever it is you're doing throughout the day got to keep those energy levels high in my country every place you go you need a covid passport okay i use code xqc yeah of course you can use code xqc too why ruin, ruin g fuel with water <laughs> good one um yeah Okay, let's take the juicer. Do I think USA has a chance against Russia? Hey, it's USA B is playing the online Olympiad in the online Olympiad. Of course, Wesley's not playing. I'm not playing. Um, Fabiano's not playing. Lenny Lenny is not playing. Um, so if USA B can beat Russia, that's that that's that's that that bodes very well for the future, is what I would say. Let's just take. Okay, we're up. Where are we up? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. We're up two pawns. We're doing pretty well here. Russia C is playing. <laughs> well, Russia has many more better players than the U.S. Uh, as as a whole. I mean, they have so many so many twenty seven hundreds who who aren't who aren't playing. Do I have contact with Jan Christos Duda? Um, not really. Um, I mean, I've spoken to him on occasion. Very nice guy. Uh, probably the the biggest biggest and brightest hope for. For uh, for Polska Guram chess in the near future, uh, very talented player, uh, but I, I don't really talk to him day to day or anything. Do I remember my first game that I ever played chess? I vaguely remember the first rate game I played. I don't remember exactly, but I like the game itself. But I remember the location and I vaguely recall recall it, but not 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 very well. I was counting as Spanish. Yeah, I mean, it, we, we live here in America. Everybody speaks Spanish here in America. I mean, we, we didn't build that wall, so everybody speaks Spanish. Um, let's go rook d7 here. Put pressure on the bishop on g7. Uh, that's a free rook on g8 here. Um, so let's keep going. Nepo joined chess.com, so you'll start streaming too. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, now, I'm not going to fall for this trick. Actually, you know what? Let's fall for it. He's going to go C4, D4 takes. I love his username, by the way. He's going to go C4. Let's go D4, Knight, D7. Um, it's not Russia C, except for Nepo. All the top players are playing. Okay. Is America still a magic place where you can get rich if you work harder? Or is that dream dead? Oh, I think it's definitely true. Um, but I think it's gotten a lot harder, obviously. Um, I think what I would say also... Yeah, I'm going to go D3 here. What I would say, though, the one thing that's true about America, and it, I, I mean, it's it's something that's, that remains true, and probably it's the only place where I still firmly believe it's true, is that, like, if you have a great concept, great idea, uh, you can make it in one generation. Whereas I think in almost, like, when I look at Europe, a lot a lot of things don't happen overnight in one generation. Um, that, that is one thing that, uh, that in the U.S., it, it still applies. My opponent blundered with Knight F3. He had to go F3 in one move. That's really not true for a lot of people in the US. Oh, I didn't I didn't say that as a whole is true. I'm just saying that when I look at Europe, I feel like the 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 opportunities are far far slimmer objectively. I feel like I just feel like in Europe when I when I look at look at the wealth distribution of, of like the people who are the richest, it feels like it's been built over two or three generations. It's very rarely a first generation thing. Um okay, let's take the knight here and I'm going to take back. You get Curry HD for the 14 months. Appreciate it. Thank you, Curry. I think I'm gonna go for a quick. Actually, let's do a check check. You can't generalize a continent like that. I mean, I'm talking about the, the big three base. I'm talking about Germany, Italy, Spain, 
and then France as well. All four of them. We'll play Rook G6 next move. You know, Monkey Luffy for the 300 bits. No, you guys, the United Kingdom is not part of Europe. The United Kingdom, the people voted to leave Europe. People voted to leave you guys. I see my opponent's name. Yeah, I do. Let's take the knight. Go check. Queen E2 next move. It's good checkmate. Let's keep rolling. Okay. Um, you can't leave a continent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny. Funny, yes. Yes. Okay, my opponent hangs upon here. I'm not going to take it, though. I'm just going to keep going. C6 and building a center. Go E5 here. Didn't UK's leader used to be American? I think Boris Johnson was born, um, was born in, in New York, if I'm not mistaken. You can't leave a continent, it just takes a million years. Yeah, the, the, the tectonic, the plate tectonics and the ships. Yeah, it's true. Not so easy. Prediction UK will rejoin the European Union. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't, I have, I don't know the economics. So I, I, that would be an, that's actually an interesting question, but I don't know how they can, because I don't see it happening. It, it, there's no way it can happen. I, I don't see how they can, because. They have to find some excuse to have another referendum. And I, I mean, I don't know the politics, but it seems hard to, hard for me to believe that they can do that. Play H4 here. I can also just develop a knight. I can also push this pawn. Let's just develop our knight. Put the knight here. It's got great targets. Maybe even F5 to target these central pawns. A lot of targets here. Make a check. Ooh, this looks bad, actually. Check and knight F5. Oh, dear. Any good stocks about... I have no good stock recommendations, you guys. Everything is so juiced. I, I really... Like I said, for a long time now, I've just been, um, for a long time now, I've just been, I've just kind of been watching and, and sitting on the sidelines. Really haven't been doing very much. Only thing I've been doing for a long time is I've been, I've been selling Tesla puts because I think it's mispriced. But that's the only thing I've been doing. Nothing else. Okay, I can take the pawn. I'm just going to play a Karo Khan here. It's like a Karo Khan, except he played G4 on move two, so it looks a little bit dubious. Definitely not buying any Tesla calls. Okay, um, play D4 here. Hit the knight on C3. Let's play E5, build the center. I'm trying to give him a chance to save, it, save his pawn on G4, but he's kind of refusing. Let's go D3 here. C5 to get a P word for the six months. Oh dear. Um, I can't really do anything. I said Tesla calls, not testicles, you guys. There's a difference. Um just take. Tesla go here. I'm gonna try to get a lolly check move like Bishop H3 next move. Okay, let's go here. Threat and checkmate in one. Let's see if we can stop it. Any news about a collab with Saikuno that I was talking about? Uh, not really. I mean, I'd be tempted to play Valorant with him, actually. Because he, he's also, I think he's just like, he's like bronze too or something. Like, he's, he's not... He's not some god gamer either in it, so it'd be kind of fun to play with that crowd, maybe. 
But those i think all those all of those people they, they stream really late right let's go see four here and hit the diagonal i feel like that whole crowd they stream on on true west coast time so they stream very late whereas i'm generally streaming early in the day let's take the pawn of b7 he's got to go knight d7 i take he takes and i play f3 very very complicated position oops knight d7 was the move have i ever streamed valorant um yeah, I have um I have streamed Valorant actually. I streamed Valorant I think when it was in beta. I think when it was in beta I, I actually streamed it. Let's take the rook here and go knight f3. Why haven't I had my own G Fuel energy yet? Because not enough of you guys have, have used the code Hikaru to buy it. If enough of you guys use code Hikaru and buy G Fuel, I'll get my own flavor. Let's go check. I need to press one for go here um <laughs> okay um all right to be honest i've never seen anyone drink fuel i drink g fuel i just i i poured in the powder and i'm, I'm drinking g fuel right now Rapport versus Carlson Star. Yeah, we're we're playing our arena with another like another like four to five games, and then we'll um then we'll jump over and cover that. Go on, Hikaru. Finish the finish the finish the name. Yeah, finish the name. Yes, you guys, of course. It said press one for a certain something. Thank you to Haru Diamond for the prime. Um, yeah. Let us see the liquid. Um, sure. I mean, well, actually. <laughs> that's a very poor idea because it's a blue it's blue and blue so actually you won't even be able to tell that's very poor of me if i poured it in the white one you guys would tell but anyway let's go rook d1 here yeah but it's blue and blue it's like it's blue liquid in a blue in a blue uh in a, in a blue 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 can so it actually just looks blue doesn't mean doesn't mean anything it's the exact same color <laughs> yeah it's empty, yes. I, actually, that would be really that would be really hardcore if if this was empty. <sighs> Will Rapport pull it off today? Um, I think it's likely. I think it's a RADB for the six months. Thank you so much. Appreciate. It. Let's just go here. Yeah, if this is empty, you're drinking. Do I still use the Brave Browser? Yeah, I do, actually. I use Brave Browser. Uh, even though they're not currently um, sponsoring me, I'm still using Brave. I don't... I don't... Um, I don't promote products that I don't believe in. Plain and simple. So, like, if I don't use the product, I'm not gonna... Um, I'm not... I'm not gonna, like... I'm not gonna do, like, a sponsored... Um, uh sponsor stream or anything like that yeah i said report and belong in top 20 how do i feel now how, why is everybody being a little bit douchey about this um i said these changes style in the last like two to three years i think it's sad chess for this for the tier one thank you so much um let's go d4 knight d3 and e4 yeah you guys are being like really douchey about it for no reason um uh because the, the always the issue that rapport has had is that he he's been too wild and too aggressive um like the thing with rapport is it's not that he's not a good player he's always just been playing all these wild openings um all the time whereas now he's actually playing much more solid and stable which is which is why he's seeing this big improvement but yeah of course i eat mcdonald's you guys i had a period when i did my mcdonald's diet too so um i did my mcdonald's diet for probably i want to say maybe a month i think it is where I would go and I would order off the dollar menu because when I was living in St. Louis, I didn't have a lot of money. Um, so I'd go like order off the dollar menu for McDonald's and I would get um, and I would just order like the the cheeseburger or stuff like that. And like and then I would uh, I would just not eat the bread. So like I would get rid of like the 400 calories of bread. Um, let's go E4 here in 94 and Bishop E4. Did I lose any weight from McDonald's? I think I lost a couple of pounds, at least at the start. Yeah, no bread, you animal. But bread is just empty calories, you guys. That's that's why you just take the bread off. So that's how you got for 45 million, saving up that bread. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, let's go knight after queen two and castles. Mm. 
McDonald's diet is the most K-Kona thing I ever heard. Yeah, of course. Uh-oh, he just trapped his own queen here. You gotta be careful, by the way, if you play French systems, not put a queen on F6, because it's very easy to get your queen trapped if there's, like, a wooden shield here in the middle of the board, uh, and there's a knight and a bishop. This is one of the most classic tricks. Rapport is playing something weird. Oh, that's a bad... That's that's bad. Oh, that's a bad sign if he's doing that right now. I, I don't know. But yeah, we'll, ju we'll jump in and we'll cover that very, very shortly, you guys. Did I get the idea from Super Size Me? I'm not going to lie that I got part of the idea from that. Um, but the thing is, I, I just got off the dollar menu. Because I was like, if you eat the fries and you eat everything, probably every day the consumption is going to be an issue. Um, but I thought, you know what? It's... it's, it's You know, I, I, I like their cheeseburgers. I've always, always have. Um, so I might as well just get it and take the bread off. Go King B1 here. He went for the Berlin, but played a weird line at D3 variation. Okay. El Magneto winning the next two games, I'm calling it. Yeah, Rapport's rating was inflated um, for sure at the time, but he's he's actually, I don't know if it's on his own or if other people have given him advice, but he's really basically solidified his repertoire and he's no longer playing wild openings like Joe Bava, for example. For a long time, Rapport to me was basically just a slightly better version of Joe Bava, playing all sorts of wild random openings all over the place. And now he's kind of started playing with a much more professional approach. I'm playing solid openings for the most part, and that's 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 why he's had such improvement. Get a cornbread for the 12 months. Thank you so much to cornbread. Appreciate it. Let's take hello from Italy. I've just finished my day work. Um, uh, hope you're having a good day. Hope all hope all's well in Italia. Trained by Leko. I'm not sure if he's been trained by Leko. Leko's been working with um a, a German player actually for a long time. He's been working with a uh, Richard Rap or not. He's been working with Vincent Kamer. Sorry, what's wrong with my brain today? He's been working with Vincent Kamer, um, uh, the Germ German junior player. So he's been working with Vincent Kamer for a long time. So I don't know if he's been working with Richard or not, but um, but maybe he has. Can I speak Italian? I still speak some, yeah, if I, if I, if I feel like it. Pero siamo tutti americani. Americani. Uh, the Americani, no, um, non Italiani. Okay, let's go see four hand queen b3, I guess. Hit the pawns, hit the pawn on b7. Best diet, Mediterranean diet is always, always good, obviously. Working out, of course, is the best diet, obviously. Yeah, no, I mean, I still do, but I don't really, I don't really speak Italian much anymore, so like it takes me a second to think in my head now. It's not, it doesn't come naturally anymore. Um, I also have jumbles of too many languages in my head, which is also, which is also kind of a problem. Take with the bishop here. I have two, the problem is I, 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 I sort of somewhat, like I default to Spanish first these days more than Italian. So I default first to Spanish, which is why like it takes me a second on the go to like kind of think about it. Okay, let's go here, hit the knight, hit the bishop as well. Okay, I can actually I can just take. There's a pen. Am I half retired? No, I'm not retired. I play chess. Go queen e6. Atkins died with one vote. Yeah, what's the best diet? McDonald's gets 33%, intermittent fasting gets 11, working out gets 52%. I actually like intermittent fasting. The only problem for me with intermittent fasting is that uh, whenever I've tried intermittent fasting, um, I just can't do it. As I get older, uh, I just find that like I, I I need food. Like I just can't go a whole day without eating anymore. It's just weird. Um, let's go here, I guess. Yeah, I've tried to do it as I, as I get older. I just can't do it. Like when I was young, I could just like, I could just drink Mountain Dew all day long and um, and not eat any food. As I get older, I just can't. Like my body just won't let me. It's like, it, I, I can feel it. It just won't let me. Take, take the Rook here. Why wasn't I at the Met Gala? I wasn't invited, you guys. Apparently... 
Apparently, I'm not I'm not famous enough, so I wasn't I wasn't invited, you guys. But hey, on the flips. Oh wait, did I just? Wait a second, I didn't see that. What? Wait a second, I have to be very very careful. I mean, but honestly, you know, you know why it's a good thing that I didn't go because I'm a streamer, you guys. I'm not, I'm not putting on some weird fashion thingy to, to like go to that. Like, I'm just not doing that. He's trying to checkmate me, so I have to avoid some checkmates here. It's very dangerous. Just right off, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, okay, let's go here. Let's line up the checkmate again. Yeah, like I, you guys, uh, all that would have happened is I would have been like XQC. I would have shown up. I, I would have shown up and um, wearing just like jeans and a T-shirt. Like, uh, they don't want that. They they want you to spend like a hundred thousand on some weird, some weird outfit or something that makes no sense. Let's go check and collect the night here. Do I still have the can costume? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Um, you can didn't stream that day and was late the following morning. You can deny it, but we all know you were there. Who was I there? Maybe I was there with Kim Kardashian, right? Isn't that? Is it? Wasn't that one person who like there was somebody there who was like covered head to toe, who no one knows who they were, right? So that could have been me. You never know. Um, all right, <laughs> let's go E6 here. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> good one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, let's go Bishop D6. That's actually true, isn't it? Wasn't there somebody there with her who was like covered head to toe or something bizarre? Let's go B6 here. That's actually true, I think, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Was there was someone there who was like they were covered. They were with her and no one knows who it was. But I think they say it was Kanye. And by the way, just to be clear, you guys, the only reason I know that is not because I, I read all that trash, it's because um because then every morning when I drive over to TSM, I, I have the radio station on and they were talking about it yesterday morning. That's the only reason, um, that's, that's the only reason that, that I know that I, I don't, I don't pay attention to any of that nonsense. Um, yeah, but you read the newspaper, let's be honest. Yeah. I don't sleep at the TSM house. No, this is a facility you guys. Um, but what I would say is that, uh, what I, what I would say is that um is that there are people here who work like all the time so like half the time when i come in at like 7 a.m there's someone who's been here who, i'm sure they've been here since like 6 p.m the other night the previous night or even since like 3 a.m um like i could theoretically sleep here if i wanted to and save on rent why are you guys talking about the taliban um let's go rook b8 maybe queen a5 next move maybe d4 um 95 93 as well Need a McKay CAC for the 17 months. Come to Bas uh, Basiktas, best soccer team in Turkey. I've been to Turkey many times. I've been to Turkey many, many times. Um, I've been, I've been to, uh, and I've been to Antalya, Bursa, and um, Istanbul as well. Yeah. Why am I in a good mood today? I just feel really good, you guys. I feel good. It's been a, it, it's been a weird month or so. I um, that's really dedicated coming to the facility at 7 a.m. I mean, I would say what I've said before, you guys. Um, I'm, I consider myself very American. Make no mistake about that. Um, but what I would say is that while I consider myself very American, there's certain like certain traits that I have that even that even though I didn't grow up in Japan, I that I have that are very Japanese. Um, and um. And like I'm gonna play Bishop D5 and takes here. Queen H4 is not made yet, Bishop F2. But like one of them is just like I have this like worth at work ethic that's just like very Japanese. So it's like when you say come to the come here at 7 a.m. Yes, it's dedication. At the same time, I mean, I don't know. The way I treat streaming is like I treat it like a job. I treat it like something very serious. You know, I I don't sort of it's not something where it's like oh yeah I can show up at any time, boot it up, maybe all 10,000 people watching. I very much feel like the majority of the audience they are in Europe. Um, a free rook so i feel like the majority of the audience are in europe and i i just don't really take it for granted so like if, if i know that the majority of people who are watching our east coast are in europe then i mean really like I, I should i should do what i can to cater to that audience because frankly they're what made me as successful as i am today um so that's just my general general attitude that i have um stream is serious while well, i'm saying i, tr I treat it I, tr I mean i treat it very seriously 
Take with Chuck. Go F5 here. Tango, Rook H5, mate. Serious stream, guys. Well, I'm I'm just saying that like that's the way I, that's the way I view it. I, I do view it that way. As I view it sort of as one of those things where it's you know just you you don't take it for granted. Uh, now there's a free pawn. This is why we're doing unrated, by the way, because a lot of people have hung this pawn and move once. So uh, that's why we're not doing doing raid. Do I live on the west coast? Yes, I do. I am in uh, Los Angeles. Well, I buy the iPhone 13. I don't really use um, I I have an Android, um, so probably not. I have played around with iPhones occasionally the name um man all right let's go um let's go here For the UE, it's perfect time for streaming. 16, 2100 is just when you come after the work, school, etc. Yeah, well, like I said, I mean, I think there are a lot of people. Chess is one of those things where, at least based on what I've seen on Twitch, a lot of people who watch um, do tend to be European, maybe European based, the wrong word, but like there are a lot, there are a, bi a big chunk of, of the audience is is, uh, is watching from Europe. So, again, I mean, those are the people who make the stream what it is. Those are the people who have supported me for a long time. So frankly, sure, 7 a.m. is early, but if I if I can't like if I can't be an adult and find my way find my way um to bed to bed or or, or or sleep at a reasonable hour, then you know, then you guys shouldn't sub. And frankly, I, I wouldn't be as successful either. Have I ever thought about changing my stream more towards West Coast? No, because the majority of my audience is not the West Coast. Um they they aren't. Was I angry when Magus made the comment about the rating? I wasn't angry per se. I just felt that it was like there was no need for it. Um, it just didn't seem necessary. I mean, that's that, that's that's always my issue with Magnus generally is that like a lot of these comments he makes, um, what it feels like is it feels like he, he thinks he's the funniest guy in the world when he makes them, but like he has to realize he is the world champion. Like he's the world champion. At the end of the day, like no one else is Magnus. He's the world champion. Um, and in many ways, he, he is the face of chess, like it or not. That's just the reality. So when he says some of these things, I think he sometimes forgets the, the role that he has as the world champion in the game of chess. What percentage of the audience is from, um, is from Europe? Uh, I don't actually know because as you guys probably are aware of, um, Twitch never releases those stats, you guys. So if I go to, um, so if I go to YouTube and I look at my stats on my channel, I can, I can easily see, see like my stats what the average average age is what country they're from twitch never releases these stats so at twitch you're just on your own completely and you're just taking guesses in the dark as far as um as far as like as as, as far as all these different things go um so it's like uh it's yeah I, I i just base it on what i see in the like the live viewership that mostly it's that in the comments and i just i make educated guesses of where the majority of my audience is and i'm pretty sure that i'm right but i don't know like i don't actually know for a fact that it's like that um yeah it's just just yeah it, it's it's kind of annoying i mean it, it is kind of annoying any chance of moving over to youtube i mean i'd say i'm, I'm skeptical I, I don't know my YouTube audience is mainly, I, I think it's actually weird. I, I'll pull it up on my other monitor. Let's see. You guys are asking. Let me go to YouTube studio. I'll just take a look at the top three. Let me see. Um, okay. Analytics. One second. Okay. So. One second. Where is that? Um, audience. Okay. Here we go. Uh okay you guys so you're asking me um about these questions okay so top geographics actually the i'll give you the top five you guys so the top five geographics are united states with 26.0 second is india with 6.0 third is the united kingdom with 4.9 percent fifth is canada with 4.5 percent and fifth is germ germania with 4.0 percent so those are the top five you guys um those are the top five us india united kingdom canada and germania um, let's just take the pawn. Let's take and go. Actually, yeah, let's go checkmate. Get the dub. Um, so yeah, those are those are the top five. Um, yeah. So uh, 
So yeah, those are the top five in the age. The the top age is 18 to 24, 38.1, and 25 to 34 with 35.8. So those are the uh those are those are the top five. All right, you guys. So so we end up winning 18. Oh, nice, very nice. 18 games, 18 games. I didn't even notice that. 18 games, very very solid. Um, so we win 18 games. We end on a very nice score of 69 points. Um.